YouTube and Bookstagrammers. Um, I did not get a chance to unbox this, but it's my book boyfriend box, and this is the KOA one, and this is the Fire Breathing Bitch Queen. Um, I was saddened that I didn't get the Ardalyn's Assassin because there was some really cool things in that. So she opened up the extras, and so I have some of that box in here. I wasn't able to snag everything from that box, but I grabbed a couple of items that she had left. So let's get into it. Um, like I said, this is the Fire Breathing Bitch Queen box. And um, I just saw on her Instagram she's not doing book boyfriend boxes anymore, which is really sad. Um, there's this print which is really pretty. It's by Kat Adara, which is awesome. And the first thing I see is this really pretty pillowcase, which I think I'm going to have to take out of the package so you can see it. Sorry, this box unboxing is so great. Alright, she was fire and light in Ash and Amber. She was alien fireheart. So that's the front side. And this is the back side, which it has a lot of the different pieces you read in the book. Um, she has like uh, backpacks and various things with these, this design on her shop, the book of shop. Or the book. I get the book of shop and the bookish stuff shop. <laughs> okay, the next thing I see is this bag, and it says Rattle the Stars, and it's like a messenger bag, which would be good if you were like going to school or if you go to work and you're taking a bunch of items with you. It's got a strap for um, to put on the sides here, pockets, so that's really cool. And then... We've got some Fraser Fur Body Frosting and Whipped Soap. So you got some whipped soap. I'm not going to open it because it'll get everywhere. So it looks, it matches the color of the book. And then we've got a candle. And she usually gets the candles from Lunar Bazaars. Lunar Bazaars. And this is the Fire Breathing Bitch Queen. And it's roses, cedar, musk, and a fiery heart. It smells really good. So there's what it looks like, and there's what it looks like inside. And I really wanted the Ardalyn's Assassin one too, because it looked really good, and this, and it looked like it would smell good too. But I wasn't able to get the candle. The candle and the necklace of the Ardalyn's Assassin I wasn't able to get. Um, the next thing I see is a pop socket that says Fireheart, and it's got like a pretty design on it. So I've never used a pop socket, so I might try it. And then we've got um, a Fire Breathing Bitch Queen pin of Aelin, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got um, the thing that I was excited about, and it's a good material, but uh, the Cat Adara print of Selena and Aelin. Awesome which, you know, that's a spoiler. And then we've got this little thing right here. And it's by Chicky Crates, and I like her stuff. She has awesome hey. stuff. Hi. My kids are home for Christmas break, so. They're the ones that hide my boxes. Ooh, somebody smells funky. All right, uh, Chicky Crates gave out this uh, really pretty ring, and it would symbolize Fireheart. And it's adjustable, so it won't fall off. So that's really cool. I like Chicky's uh, designs. She's really cool. Um, my son is seeing this stuff. He's trying to grab it. And then I think there's two items remaining in this box. The first thing is this map, which is really beautiful. I got find somewhere to put it so the kids can't get it. The beautiful map. I love it. And it's got the burned edges on it so it like looks like a real map. So definitely gotta keep that away from my kiddos. 
And then we've got this little guy. And she did have these in the shop as a pre-order <coughs> to get some main. But uh, this is the tapestry. And I missed the flick the wick one, so. But I did get this one. Let's see here. You got Aylin right there. And then you've got Rowan. So it's really pretty. Um, I don't know if she still has these in her shop for pre-order, but she might. If she does, I would get one because it's beautiful. Beautiful artwork. Um, yeah, she is closing it, which that makes me sad. <laughs> but she's had a lot of backlash, so. Alright. This is the extra stuff I was able to get of the Art of Lynn's Assassin. I wasn't able to get all of it, but I got a couple things. Um, the first thing I got was the bookmark that I, because uh, the bigger box got the postcard print and the smaller one got the bookmark. And then she included uh, the people that bought uh, the extra stuff. She included the spoiler card, which has the artwork of Kat Adara on it. And then I was able to get this from the Ardalyn's Assassin box. And I preferred this one instead of the messenger bag, but because uh, I'm more of a uh, crossbody person. Um, but it says, I can survive well enough on my own if given the proper sure. reading materials. Sarah J. Mass, Throne of Glass. And it's just a regular canvas tote, and it's crossbody. That's why I like it. So there's that. And then um, I was able to grab the jewelry dish. Which says, Rattle the Stars. And it's just like a little jewelry dish and it says brew to a tea. So that's really cute. And then my kids are getting really anxious over here. Alright, and then the last item I was able to grab is the pocket mirror. And it says, I will not be afraid, which is one of my favorite quotes of it. So, um, the only thing I wasn't able to get from the Ardalyn's uh, box was the Fireheart necklace, which glows in the dark. I tried to get it, but they were sold out. And I wasn't able to get um, from the Ardalyn's box the... There's something else. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, the candle. I wasn't able to get the candle. But I got the other thing. So, so you saw pretty much both boxes minus a few things. So... Thank you for watching this, and I better get to my kiddos. They're getting ornery here. Hey, Breezy. Hey, Breezy. Hey, Breezy. And happy holidays. Sorry this unboxing is so late. The items are beautiful, and um, I like her things, and I'm sad that she's going to go. But uh, hopefully she finds the job she wants. Uh, check her out on bookishstuff.com. Bookish Stuff on Etsy. And then also, um, she's going to be closing down her site, but not yet, of the Bookish Boyfriend box items. She's going to have last sale sometime in January. So if you want to pick up any of her past items, get to it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, just go ahead and put them down below. And I would be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching.